This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. From Water of Life Ministries in Plano, Texas, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is speaking through his servants to the world. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying today. Let us join Doyle Davidson and others of Water of Life, sowing the Word of God in spirit and in truth. Hello, I'm Doyle Davidson, servant and apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, ministering locally to the body of Christ in Dallas and Fort Worth, Texas, and sent by God to your house to declare unto you the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 15, friend bore, tells us what the gospel is, how that Jesus died by our sins, he was buried, he rose again the third day, according to the scripture. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, sent me to heal the broken heart, preach deliverance to the captives, recovering of sight to the blind, set at liberty them that are bruised. The word is neither even in your heart and your mouth. It is a word of faith which I preach. You will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You shall be saved. With the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation. Everyone believe it. The Jew verse is also to the Greek. There is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written, the just shall live by his faith. Amen. I want to welcome all, wherever you may be receiving this broadcast, in the earth, where, uh, live stream, Roku, or other devices. Thank you. Welcome to this set, Mr. Paul Peters, my co-host. How are you? I'm doing well. You're ready? I'm ready. We'll be back to you in a little bit, but we have a song done by the My Girl. That to be a song that my grandfather is saying a cappella Redwood Church in the thirties. He was the one that built the building in his family, others. He was a stable one. And when people in the church would get unruly with emotion, he always was sitting on the right-hand side of the platform. He would sit there alone unless others wanted to sit with him. He'd get up and walk back and forth maybe two or three times across the platform singing on Christ Christ the solid rock I stand all other ground is sinking sand the vibes
and my girls. Hi, Paul. Hello. Hello. Hey, man. Thank God. I uh, didn't have any idea I would say this. But I walked in here with enough pain to suit me. And uh, that song blessed me. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank God. Amen. By the way, my grandfather was not a preacher. He was a road builder, businessman, home builder, all kinds of contracting work. And in the 20s, had 50, had a draft horses. They were working on a highway Two years before it was designated as U.S. 66 at Rolla, Missouri. But he had the dirt contract. And it was my size. Went to heaven at 72. Didn't have one white or gray hair in his head, black hair. Scott, amen. Jesus. A man I greatly admire. In 1938, my mother, uh, at an attack of the devil. I was just six years of age and they didn't know what was wrong with her. Physicians couldn't find anything. She couldn't get her breath. She had to sit up day and night. They banned her. People stood with pants. <laughs> one, one day, Granddad Luther Albert Davidson called him Blue, came to the house. Amen. I told my older sister, Dorothy, who's in heaven, the next one below me, first one, Betty, who's in Tennessee, actually she's in Israel today. Her, her husband, George, are directors of Derek Prince Ministries Israel. Granddad told us a story about a woman who's about to die. They didn't know what to do with for her. She lived south of us about 10 miles. She had three children, and those children went in one day, kneeled by their mother's bed, and said, Lord, if you don't do something, we're going to have to take our mother to the cemetery. God healed her. Granddad told us three ch 
children that that we deal by mother's bed. Dorothy died of a six, Betty was three. We pray with granddad. That day, Mother started improving. I would like to think my faith had some effect. Mother went to heaven at 89. In 98, I think it was. January. Anyway, um, thank God. Praise God. Amen. The God is bad. They got it bad. They got it bad. They got it bad. I spent much time in prayer, afflictions and persecutions, intercessory prayer. Amen. And I, well, kind of in between intercession and this general prayer. But there's a great war in the heavenlies and on earth. And it's great. And it is fought. The holy apostles and prophets and others that had been perfected and left the work of the ministry to pray. Thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Thank God, 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 amen. I text Paul with some scripture from, well, several, but one, particularly Psalm 89, beginning in verse 19. And I forgot exactly where we go. But this psalm, almost everybody overlooks it. It's too hard. It's too strong. It's too tough. As a preacher once said to me, you have to know which song to read. And I'm positive this is one he wouldn't read. But this is about the man Jesus. The man Jesus and Jehovah his father. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And it's hard. But it's the father that's the fighter. Could we have that red ball? Yes. Psalm 89, starting in verse 19. 
Then thou spakest in vision to thy holy one, and said, I have laid help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him, with whom my hand shall be established. Mine arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy should not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foes before his face, and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And in my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand also in the sea, and his right hand in the rivers. He shall cry unto me, Thy my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. Also I will make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. My mercy will I keep for him forevermore, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. If his children forsake my law, and walk not in my judgments, and they break my statutes, and keep not my commandments, then will I visit their transgression with the rod, and their iniquity with stripes. Nevertheless, my loving kindness will I not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips. Once have I swum by my holiness, that I will not, that I will not lie unto David. His seed shall endure forever, and his throne is a sun before me. It shall be established forever as the moon and as a faithful witness in heaven. What a song. Amen. Amazing. I don't think I could add one word to it or about it. It's the word of God. Amen. It's heaven. It's about Jesus. He's the one taken from among the people. He suffered for all. Suffered great affliction, pain, sickness, death. Amen. Suffered for the sins of the world. And oh, what a Savior. Amen. David, do we have that song by Haas? And others with him? Thank you. I'm going to wait. I think it's the cathedral's with him. I think it's the Old Friends Quartet. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Thank you. Thank God. Amen. Anyway, if we don't, it's all right. Thank you, Father. Oh, what a Savior Jesus is. He is able to save to the utmost to those that will come unto him. Oh, what a Savior he is. Thank God. Amen. Do we have yours? What are my boys? Oh, what a Savior? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't no. Think so. Okay. All right. Good try, Noah. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Uh, Paul, let's sing. Okay. Let you sing. All right. Jesus paid it all, right? Right. Thank you. Paul Peters, this production was done, the musical production by David Brown. And Paul Peters ministered the song, Jesus Pays It All. Paul? I hear the 
Savior say, Thy strength indeed is small. Child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me thine all in all. Lord, now indeed I Jesus died my soul to save, my lips shall still be
you to visit Water of Life Church at 1621 18th Street in Plano, Texas. Or for further information, call area code 972-578-8082. That's 972-578-8082. Or write Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas 75086. That's Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas, 75086. This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. <laughs>